welcome to day five of 30 days of filming guys hello later welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is wendy if you're an og i love you if you're a subscriber i love you if you're new also love you so stop punking and please subscribe day five what are you doing today i'm confused i had like night shift yesterday and i woke up so late so you've seen uh i was making the bed and things like that but the first thing i'm going to do today is i'm going for a jog trying to stay active like i told you guys wendy on the block jogging jogging <laughs> anyways guys so i'm going jogging and then later on i'm uh going to come back home freshen up and then i'm craving pilau i can't stop thinking about it so that's what you're going to cook today i'm free today so i have all the time in my hands to make myself some pilau so after the jog i'm coming back at home freshen up and then go to the supermarket and get myself the ingredients for pilau please if you love such content please keep on watching and i hope you enjoy day five of uh, 30 days of filming i love you guys i haven't eaten anything since i woke up either so i don't want to go outside and pass out so i'm going to have myself a little bowl of cereal before i leave to cut in some banana piece as well and this is what my oreo cereal is looking like i'm going to enjoy this and then leave Side one puff of inhaler won't hurt. Shiki shiki shiki. <clears throat> now I'm ready. <laughs> this is what the fit looks like. It makes my ass look so nice, big, and round. Taking breaks while I run is important for me because of asthma. Otherwise, my lungs will explode. The weather is so bad, guys. That's why the long-sleeved outfit gear <laughs> comes in handy. I normally run until this park, and then I take. Oh, I can't breathe. And then I take like a five to ten minute break, and then I proceed to the to the next lap. guys i'm done freshening up already showered i've done my skincare i've lotioned up as usual and this is my outfit i'm going to throw in a jacket of course because the weather looks crazy outside anyways it's time to go and uh, look for ingredients for pilau oh my god <laughs> guys it's raining i'm so hungry i haven't eaten since i woke up the only cereal i ate and the rest of the banana you know look at how much it's raining I'll have to wait until the rain is done, guys, before I go and get the ingredients for pilau. Or oh, let me call Jacob and ask where he is. <laughs> Let's see where Jacob is. <laughs> ah. 
Hallöchen. Hallöchen. <lacht> und wie geht's dir? Gut. Wo bist du? Äh, ich bin noch in der Schule. Ich muss noch äh, einen Elternanruf machen, dann komme ich. Wo so, will, ich bin zu Hause, ich hatte heute frei. Ähm, äh, ja. wann, wann wirst du zu Hause? Hm, pff, mh, schon, ich hätte wenig los. Oh je. Yeah. Wieso? Ich hatte Lust auf Blau, aber es regnet. Ich will nicht draußen gehen. Das ist egal, ich wollte Fleisch kaufen im Preis. Was? Ich glaube, jetzt ist schon wieder, schon wieder weniger. Ich weiß, ich habe alle Zutaten zu Hause. Es fehlt mir nur ähm, Reis und, und Fleisch. Ja, ich kann das kaufen, das kann man mehr. Naja, wie lange brauchst du? Ich habe Hunger. Ach so, Na, ich brauche schon mal ein bisschen. Ne? Okay, warte kurz. Uh, I'm going to let you know when it stops raining, if I manage to go and get them. But like okay. when it's still raining, when I call you, then like you'll have to bring them to me. But like don't buy anything until I confirm. Otherwise, we'll end up buying like both of our stuff, okay? Okay. Gut, dann bis später. Tschüss, I love you. Tschüss, I love you. Bye. Bye. Ooh, this outfit is fire, especially these jeans. Wow, I've missed wearing baggy jeans because like when I'm going to work, I can't wear such jeans. Yeah. Anywho, we will wait until it stops raining and then I'll either go or we'll wait if Jacob will be home soon so he can buy the ingredients. Guys, in the meantime of just like sitting down, relaxing and watching TikToks, I'm going to check if I have the other ingredients for pilau. So first things first, let me put you guys here for a minute. I'm going to check. I have tomato paste. I think this is going to be enough. I don't think I'm going to buy another one. Or if I buy another one, I'm going to buy like a tiny portion. I have this minced ginger and garlic paste, so this to check. And then I'm also going to write down a list of like things I'm going to need. Now I have to check if I have the spices. I have this pilau rice seasoning spice, all purpose spice. I think I bought a pilau masala from Kenya. If I didn't, then it must be the dumbest person that has ever walked this up. Guys, I didn't buy pilau masala. Ah! Yeah! Because I was like, hey! Of all the things, pilau masala, yep, I have it. And then uh, I also have this pilau biryani and then I also have meat masala that I'm also going to use in the beef. So I have all the spices I need. The only things I need from the supermarket is beef. Do you have rice? Mm, no. So I need beef. I need rice. I need spring onions because I hate normal onions, though we have normal onions, but I hate them. So I'm going to get beef, rice, spring onions, and uh, tomato paste. Yeah, I don't want... Uh, in my head, I'm thinking kartoffel, but that's German. And I'm also thinking viazi, and that's Swahili. And for my audience, I don't speak like uh, Swahili. Viazi uh, nini in English? Potatoes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need potatoes for this recipe because I'm too lazy to uh, chonga, to peel them. Anyways, guys, let me write down my list before I go to the supermarket and end up forgetting everything. Guys, you see, like, the um, when I was, like, thinking about, like, uh, potatoes in my head, that's, like, the struggle I currently have. I currently, like, I'm currently, like, thinking in, like, four languages. When, like, someone asks me something, in my head, I think about it. When someone talks to me in German, in my head, I'm translating it either in Luo, <laughs> English, or Swahili. So this brain has like four languages just like running around like crazy. Anyways, guys, uh, chronicles of speaking like a new language in a different country. I'll see you guys in a few. It's still drizzling. We have umbrellas at home, actually two, but they are work <laughs> as shit because like when it's windy, it's going to fly away. And 
there's one thing in this world that's more embarrassing than anything else is when you're outside it's raining everyone else is being rained on but you think you're special and then you have an umbrella and the umbrella is being carried away by the wind <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing i would say or like the most embarrassing embarrassing thing i mean that like i don't like experiencing or rather when you have like the umbrella and it's flying away and then there's someone like somewhere with like these strong as black umbrellas and they're just like cruising and walking and the umbrella is not flying away yet yours is flying away that's embarrassing guys i'm starving i'm not waiting for Jacob. i'm going outside in the rain but i have to change these jeans these jeans are way too clean for this web outside and look how long they are at the bottom so i have to change these jeans Guys, before I leave and before I forget, I need to wash my white work t-shirts and all the white clothes we have because I wash white together. Because like I don't have a shirt for work tomorrow, I just realized and I'm out here chilling. So let me wash this before I leave. Guys, this is what I've changed into. I'm giving this weather exactly the treatment it deserves. <laughs> and I've worn like black sweatpants and uh, a jacket because it's not too cold. I don't need a sweater inside. And I have my workers umbrella inside and the supermarket is literally outside here. I don't know why I'm carrying a bag. This just shows how grown I am. <laughs> I'm waiting for a lift. This is like the tram I'm supposed to take but the other direction. I could walk but because it's raining I'm not going to walk. And that's the station where I'm going to take it from. But I'm standing here to shelter. And my umbrella is matching my top. <laughs> Here, guys, there's a supermarket. I'm going to get first pina colada, it's not on my list, but now that I'm here, why not? <laughs> This is where I'm going to get the beef. I just need to find someone to help me out. All I need to find now is rice. And I'm in the wrong section. Rice, rice, where are you? I need to find you really soon. <laughs> and here we are. I need something that resembles pishori. <laughs> if you are Kenyan, long grain rice, I mean. So let me look and then I'll be right back. Guys, I was on video call with Yako because I didn't know which uh, rice would resemble um, uh, the ones we have in Kenya. So yeah, he's at home. So I should have just like let him buy the stuff. Anyways. I need to go and check out. Ciao. Guys, I am done with my shopping. I spent like 27 euros with that little bit shopping, but it's fine. I'm going to eat pilau. <laughs> this is the next station of where I'm going to get my next uh, tram because I'm too lazy to walk, even though I would probably be home faster, but I'm going to wait because I have a yearly ticket and I'm using my money. What? Period. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is coming in two minutes, guys. And there she comes. And now that Jacob's home, there's no need of me ringing the bell. 
of not like ringing the bell of like opening the door <laughs> my key is so foul hello two half bitte I almost slid and fell. <sighs> we need to be careful, guys. We need to be really careful. <sighs> I'm so hungry, and this recipe is going to take me like an hour, 30 minutes max. And like, I don't want to eat anything. I want, like, I'm craving pilau. So I want to eat it when I'm like really hungry so I can dig in and like <clears throat> enjoy it. <laughs> okay guys i'm back home i've already set aside all the ingredients i'll need everything is ready i'm just going to chop off the beef and then i'll walk you guys through the process once i already have all my ingredients set and ready We are making progress guys i've already chopped off some coriander not coriander oh my god i've already chopped off the spring onions now i'm going to use these two onga beef cubes inside the boiling meat and then i'll keep showing you guys when i'm making progress guys this is the onion i'm going to use for the kachumbari if you don't know what kachumbari is it's salad i've put in some uh, hot water and then salt inside so it won't be as uh, the taste that onions normally have when they're fresh so the next thing i'm going to do is chop off the tomatoes for the salad because i need to put it in the fridge and i'm working on the pilau guys i was struggling with the tomatoes and chef chef Jacob <laughs> has stepped in to help me i got the tomatoes for the salad they're way too mushy mm -hmm. this is the section i cut off and apparently there's a trick you just have to like you have to cut out the inner bit yeah so you just have just like the, the flesh the, like uh, this the flesh yeah then here clean out the seeds thank god here. for a cooking husband and this is yeah just the flesh and you can cube it and hold the shape <laughs> thank you Jakob. Jakob is still helping me out with the chopping <laughs> um i can't talk später coriander machen thank you and then guys the beef is almost done i'm going to it's almost tender enough to start frying i'm going to put in some roycom choosy mix in the broth because this is the same broth i'm going to use for the rice i'm not going to use fresh water and then once i'm starting the, the cooking i'm going to film the process i am done with the salad not i <laughs> yeah. I wow the shade in this house Jacob is done with making the kachumbari uh salad if you don't speak swahili and he's just putting in the lime and then later on he's going to add some salt and then some pepper and then i'm going to put it in the fridge the meat is doing great now i'm going to add in the roiko and then i'm going to start with the kukanga kukanga is why Jacob is super spot i always think in Kink in German, English, Swahili, and Low. Anyways, guys, I need to put in the Royco. Time to add in the Royco. I'm going to add like two teaspoons. Three because I'm obsessed. And why not? Is it enough? Nicely mix it in. Let it boil again for like five minutes drain the water and then i'm going to start with all the cooking guys uh, i am so excited i'm so hungry Jacob ate though so he'll eat probably later in the evening because he's going to the gym later on and uh voice just left there i saw <laughs> i'm going to wash it later and try it Jacob. i know you're looking at me thinking i'm going to dip it right back inside guys Jacob is so ocd with the kitchen when i'm here cooking i just wish sometimes i'm here alone because when i'm cooking and he's home 
he's always watching my every move how i hold the knife all the stupid little mistakes i do and he's just like watching like he wants kitchens. to kill me it's vile and my mom was a cooking teacher it's vile and like it annoys you when someone does like little mistakes that like it's visible. oh yeah Aye. the same way i bug you when you do something wrong in the bathroom <laughs> Because the bathroom is my territory where I do my skincare, so he's not allowed to make mistakes there. Period. Guys, I'm just done salting the salad. Taste to see it's perfect. Mm. More salt, probably. And then I'm going to add in some pepper. Where are my hands shaking? Mix it in. I don't know why I didn't buy avocado, and there's like there was a lot of them in this one market. I just like was worried that maybe they're not ripe enough to be used immediately. But yeah, this will work just fine. Mm -hmm. now it's perfect i'm going to put in the fridge and then start with the cooking guys remember my beer from the other video i still have it it doesn't have as much gas now it just tastes like juice with alcohol so Ooh. i put it in the fridge and then i forgot to drink it now it's just like juice with uh, two percent alcohol <laughs> i'm still waiting for the beef to get tender because for me it's tender enough but for Jacob he'll start complaining that it's too hard because here people eat like really really soft tender meat so I just have to let it sit for a while before I start cooking but I'm starving I've already drained out all the water the broth I mean that I'm going to use for the rice now I'm going to use this bigger pan to cook I'm just letting all the water like be soaked in and then uh, transfer it on this other side the pan is ready i'm going to add in some olive oil this is enough guys the oil is ready i'm going to add in all the onions and then stir until it's golden brown and then i'm going to add the next ingredient Driver. definitely guys we have a situation outside someone can't parallel park right so the tram can't pass by i want to sneak and take a video but the tram driver looks so pissed i hope he doesn't kill me this is the guy who can't parallel park now he's stuck here they are going to call like uh uh the fire people to push the car and he'll get the receipt the guy has like hooted like a hundred times and he was cussing but such a gesagt Jakob to say nein sag auf deutsch zu erst was er gesagt hast Arschloch Himmiger Hurensohn Ja aber das ist ja das dann asshole the second one is asshole uh, broken or like damaged son, son of a whore <laughs> Yeah these tram drivers have zero chill Z Yeah they like he's zero like hoot like pee 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 and they like the, the police are going to come and like the fire people this I happens here like a hundred times watch the onions guys the, the owner of the car just showed and like the tram driver was so angry and he was like shouting at him oh yeah but the police didn't come so good for him but he still took the license plate so he's going to report him the guy is really angry the tram driver tram Anyways, driver guys, zero chill i have changed my mind i'm not going to do a license i'll be a passenger princess forever i'll become because a like, tram driver I'll then become, you can shout exactly people. guys parallel parking is a pain in the ass apparently for everyone and this happens a lot on this house because like it's like a really tiny position so you have to fit in perfectly and it happens like at least like once a week or like i don't know how long once every two weeks once every two weeks you see like drama with like police and fire people who come to like push the car and then you get to receive anyways back to the cooking video 
the onions are golden brown Jacob is going to put in the meat the beef and then stir it a little thank you say Jacob this is what the beef is looking like i have the rice here inside let it sit in water for a little bit and then i'm going to mix all these spices in this container inside we have the meat masala i wanted to do the meat masala first so you can just like the beef soaks it up and then here is the rest of uh, pilau i haven't used the all-purpose because i don't need it so i've used the pilau rice seasoning and the pilau masala and some of this pilau biryani i'll put them all in here now i'm going to use this minced ginger and garlic paste into this mixture and then some of the sieb tomatoes later on one piece of meat for tasting later because you know me when i cook a lot of hetho goes on in between <laughs> anyways i'm going to use uh and let's so nice the ginger paste i'm using this much mm. it's really good And then I'm going to add in all the spices. And this is what it's looking like. Just tie it in. And then just let this simmer for a while before I add in the broth and the rice. Guys, all the beef broth is inside. Now I'm just going to add in the rice. The rice is inside. I'm just going to let the water simmer down. Cover everything up and cook it in the middle heat. Keep you guys updated how the pilau is doing. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to sit and relax under the blanket <laughs> as I wait for the rice to cook down and then I will show you guys the final result. Guys, this is the final result. The food is like ready. You know, my crazy husband has done the plating and has made it perfect. Jacob has made this plating so perfect. You could probably think I'm going to eat this pilau at Kempinski in Nairobi, but what? It looks and smells good. Mr. Perfect Husband has done the plate. And let me dig in and uh, enjoy the food. Guys, it's time to test the food. Moment of truth. In uh, Austria, we say malzeit. So malzeit. Oh, I'm like salivating. Mm. <laughs> Wife material. Wife material. Thank God I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. guys but between you and me this rice portion is not doing it so once i'm done filming i'm going to put like three more these sizes in here <laughs> because i'm starving it's too much yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. wow wow anyways guys thank you so much for watching day five of 30 days of filming i hope you're all still here and uh thank you so much for watching if you're here for day five and if you haven't watched the other videos i'm doing a 30 day streak so go back to my video page and start from day one if you don't mind if you want to enjoy the series anyways thank you so much later for watching this video have yourselves an amazing day night evening or morning whichever time zone you'll be watching this video from don't forget to like share comment and subscribe until my next video which is tomorrow bye
guys i know i ended the video but then like i was craving alcohol and we had this in the fridge because Jacob bought it like a couple days ago to celebrate my new contract and my new job so why not just pop it and end this video with a bam of mm -hmm. bellini <laughs> and now we like Jacob is like always asking me max to us film max to us film and because now that i'm doing this youtube seriously whoa I hate like that's not the popping no. one. Okay, I hate the popping one. <laughs> Always asking me if I want to film something. Now that he's married to a YouTuber. <laughs> Ooh. And we are also currently rewatching Thor, the first one. Can I just have to prost? Cheers. Cheers to day five of filming. Cheers to a new contract. Cheers to life. Cheers to good health. Cheers to you guys. I hope you guys are as happy as I am. So cheers. Okay, man. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tastes like juice with alcohol. Screams Wendy all over it. Okay guys, now really bye. <laughs>